I recently resolved a case at mediation uh, very satisfactorily in my opinion and it was for a client who sustained a bad elbow injury as a result of a fall on outside or external st uh, stairs. Now the client was working as a security guard at the time of the fall and I think it's instructive to bring up the three arguments that I had to overcome or that I was faced with at this mediation. The case was on for trial in a matter of weeks. Uh, had we not settled the case at the mediation. And the three arguments the defendant slash insurance company put forth were, number one, this security guard had been up and down those same stairs that he fell on thousands of times. This was part of his regular patrol. And the argument went, if he didn't fall all these other 1,000 times, the reason he fell in this instance is he was rushing or just not looking out as carefully as he did the other 999 times. And that's an interesting kind of argument. It's an argument that is really in the discretion of the trial judges as to whether they will permit it to be made, but certainly it's something that has to be anticipated by your lawyer in a premises liability case. And to put it again very succinctly, the client or other people had been up and down without having had an accident on that same piece of the property, in this case a stairway, so therefore the argument is your client had to be negligent or contributorily or comparative negligent to have fallen. That's argument number one that has to be confronted and faced. Argument number two is a strong argument and that pertains to an act of God. In the particular time that my client fell it was raining outside and to a large extent, an act of God is nothing, of course, that can be prevented. So to a large extent, that's an argument that is made at trial or in a mediation or in settlement negotiations. If it was raining and it led to a slippery stairway, what could we do? These are the elements that are out there and can't be guarded against. You can certainly make the argument there should have been a canopy or an awning, but you are therefore still uh, in the realm of what the defendant wants, and that is that you're facing an act of God. And the third point that came up in this case is that the co-workers, there were two co-workers, two other security guards who were walking with my client and in fact going ahead of him. They walked down those stairways, they walked down those stairways when it was raining, and yet they didn't fall. That is a hard piece of evidence to keep out of a trial. It's a little different than the thousand times that the client had been up and down those same stairs. It's a hard piece of evidence to keep out, and it's surely one that you will hear. How come within five seconds of your client falling, so the argument goes, did Mr. A and Mr. B go down those same stairs and didn't fall? So those are three arguments you will regularly see and obviously they all have different configurations and different uh, uh, twists and turns to them, but those are three of the more typical arguments we face in what is known as premises liability cases, cases where there are accidents on property. Thank you.